Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. Y'all, we got to talk about this energy, y'all. Somebody and or somebody's, because I'm getting more than one person, somebody is getting some big karma because of what they did to you, okay? Place the energy as it resonates. You're going to find out about this. It's going to make its way back to you. If regarding some type of friend, family relationship, some coworkers, some people at your last job that did you dirty, people are out here feeling karma, and it's all because of what it what they did to you. Y'all have got Archangel Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael out here protecting you. Like this is like big in the ethers. Let's go ahead and get it, y'all. It has everything to do with where you're sitting right now. Right now, this King of Cups energy, the fact that you're very loving, caring supportive you are still in that very positive energy my download said you're doing something new and it suits you whatever you're doing you're glowing honey you are absolutely glowing what was I telling y'all you're going on you're elevating this is the elevation that I was talking about yesterday y'all I don't make up nothing that I get in the energy I was telling y'all y'all were doing something to separate from a person and or people it was for your highest good you were elevating and moving on to a new level and this is exactly what I'm what I'm getting in this energy your king of cups energy is out here glowing and it's affecting other people's energy of whoever that came against you. I don't care who it is. It could be that ex. It could be the karmic attached to the ex. It could be those co-workers that were doing your dirty behind your back and were trying to get you fired all the time. You know what I'm talking about? It could be your friends. Whoever, it could be your own family. I don't care who it is. Place the energy as it resonates because you kept in this energy. You did not let them reduce your vibration. You did not let them stop you. You did not let them, you know, turn your heart cold. You still come out very loving. You still come out very supportive. I was telling y'all, this was a lesson you were having to learn to continue to vibrate higher and take the higher road. I don't make up any of this energy. That's exactly why this page of wands energy is out for you. You're going to get good news because you keep your vibrations high. Something Two of Swords in reverse is being taken out of your hands. This is being handled in the ethers for you, baby. The Most High, your spirit guides, Archangel Ra Michael, Arch Archangel Gabriel, and Raphael. I got those three are out here handling your light work. And here it is, this Two of Swords in reverse. This is something being taken out of your hands. And I do get it the other way. It's like, because you separated, because you stood apart from other people, because you stood upright, because you kept your vibrations high, because you took the higher road, this is why your protection is out here protecting you. And what's happening on the other end, you get good juju, okay? This is your good juju. Somebody's getting bad juju, okay? This Ace of Cups energy, somebody's in their feelings. They're in their feelings because after you done left the scene, right? You ain't got nothing to do with this person and her people. Somebody's Ace of Cups in their feelings. Whoever this Queen of Cups in reverse person is, I will tell you, I am picking up a younger feminine energy for whoever this Queen of Cups in reverse energy is. Place the energy as it resonates for you with whoever it is. This is something that I'm getting this Queen of Cups in reverse energy was very unrealistic that they were dealing with you. I heard flip-flop. So this person flip-flopped on you all the time. So however flip-flop resonates in the situation, this per because this person was not in touch with their emotion. Queen of Cups, they're very unrealistic, not in touch with their emotions. They overreact. So this would be like somebody that just like blow up all the time, okay? I'm pulling a younger feminine energy, um, but again, if it's uh, different for you, place the energy as it resonates. So somebody overreactive, not in touch with their emotions, and I heard flip-flop. So however that resonates, this person would flip-flop all the time. Well, this flip-flopper is flip-flopping over here, <laughs> okay? This is, this is Age of Swords in reverse energy. I heard, I want to quit. I want to give up. I heard, I want to quit. I want to give up. This person wants to quit. This person is flip-flopping. That's why they're in their feelings. This eight of swords in reverse energy is because this person is feeling the three of swords. Some type of a heartbreak, grief, argument, relationship breakdown. They're having a problem with something and it has to do with the queen of pentacles in reverse. This may be the same person. I am picking it up that this may be an older feminine energy. Y'all, y'all might be dealing with the family, friend group, or co-worker group. So I'm getting a younger feminine over here. I'm getting an older feminine over here. But this could very well be the exact same energy. It very well could be. Somebody was focused on the money, okay? Somebody was a gold digger. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is this person who is greedy, lazy, irresponsible. I heard shoving things off. So this person might have been shoving things off on this person. Um, they they might have been shoving things off on you, being a gold digger, being lazy, greedy, and they like to show off. Um, I am pulling heavy Leo energy for this one, okay? But however this energy is, um, so however this is really resonating, whether this is one person or this is two people, I am picking up on more than one energy in this reading, okay? 
this queen of pentacles energy i do get it's tied to the both of them they one or both of them they did something for the money something was all about the money so this could be a karmic attached to your ex that was all with them for the money okay they're feeling some type of they want to quit they want to give up they want to get out of dodge the money wasn't all that all that right now you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like whatever they were doing it's kind of like it wasn't it wasn't for what they thought it was for it wasn't good enough right it still got them in their feeling this person wants to quit they want to give up they want to flip flop like they flip flop with you right because literally this five of, uh, five of wands in reverse energy is here they teamed up together so again, this might be two people, this might be one energy, but they teamed up with somebody that's giving them a tennis sword, baby. This is a return to sender, y'all. And I'm like, they feel this all the way through. They feel it, okay? This tennis sword is some type of backstab betrayal. These, this person and her people feel betrayed. Hmm, kind of like they betrayed you now, didn't it? Come on, collective, y'all hear me. This is what's being taken out of your hands. The most high, your spirit guides, the archangels is out here handling your light work. Somebody is feeling the backstabbing betrayal that they did to you. It's the same energy. So flip-flopping, that person flip-flopped flip -flopped on you, they're getting flip-flopped on you, okay? I heard they want to quit. They want to give up. They, they can't take the heat. They want to get out of the kitchen. But they're feeling this ten of swords all the way through. This is some type of backstab betrayal that they feel and they can't get out of. That's why they want to run, okay? It's because somebody carried Page of Cups in reverse energy to them and a Page of Swords in reverse energy, y'all. Some, some, this is like a backfire, not just a backfire of betrayal, but it's just like, when I'm getting, somebody got double cross. This person and her people got double cross, y'all. This is <laughs> what I'm picking up. And I'm getting like different scenarios of how it's coming out in the energy. So yeah, a karmic, uh, the, your ex, masculine ex may have left uh, uh, you for a, another karmic feminine. And that karmic feminine was just all about the money. So I'm getting it that way. This person is finding out this person is not all they were cracked up to be because uh, whoever the person that they, they were leaning on, whoever the ex was, the masculine, that person is a, a page of cups in reverse and a page of swords in reverse. They were two-faced, fake and phony with them. They were backstabbing and stalking them too, okay? This person was uh, definitely self-absorbed. So it's just like, well, if, you know, the fact that your ex was narcissistic, they found out the new supply, oh, they're the same way. Oh, you didn't get a better, you didn't get a better person now, did you? Mm-hmm. Y'all, didn't we just talk about over the over the weekend, somebody popped back up in y'all energy? Now you see why somebody popped back up. Because they got double cross. Y'all, this... <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm talking about. This is coming out like, ooh, they're getting what they, they it's basically they're dealing with what they, what was done to you. That's exactly what's happening, right? It's karma. You get good ju good juju, right? Because of your upright energy, they get bad juju, but it's because of the way that they treated you. I don't care who this is. This could be people at your job right now, flipping all the way out because your ex is the exact same, or not your ex, but your boss was the same way with them as your boss was with you, okay? Take it as a resume. Somebody in your family dealing with this situation right now, somebody realizing that whoever the person was that you separated from or one of those persons, right, was a page of cups in reverse. They were very moody and they didn't trust them either, okay? So they didn't trust you, collectors, so you're not on the scene no more. Guess who they don't trust? This one over here, that one over here. That person, this page of cups in reverse, was also being two-faced, fake and phony with them, causing confusion, stalking them, talking about them behind their back. This person did to them what was done to you. This is all happening because of what somebody did to you, collective. And here's who it is, the king of swords in reverse. Here go this tyrant right here. This could have been your boss at your job. You know what I'm saying, collective? Whoever this boss at your job was, your boss was the one trying to get you fired all the time. Now that you're not on the scene no more, you're absolutely happy and you're loving life and you know uh, leveling up right now, right? Well, guess what? Your boss is doing the exact same thing to the people at your job that you love, okay? But it's because of what was done to you. These people did something and or person did something to you and it's being done to them. If they're getting their karma, right? This person is not escaping either, right? This King of Swords in reverse energy. This is a very judgmental person, very harsh, very rude with their words. They're, they're dealing with some legal issues. I heard get back. So one of them wants to get this person back. So I heard get back. So now they want revenge on this person, y'all. <laughs> y'all, and I'm telling you, it's kind of like they're, they're in that karmic cycle. And this is why I was telling y'all, it's so important to go to your North Node. Somebody's stuck in the South Node and guess what is paying them back? It's paying back the karma that they deserve. It's because of what they did, right? This King of Swords in reverse energy. They're not only a tyrant, very judgmental, very cruel with their words. They're a lion. They're very uh, manipulative. This person was also selfish with them. Whether this was one person or two people, this person was selfish with them. Now they're seeing what time it was. Oh, that ex they didn't all of a sudden get to be a good, upstanding person. Now that the collective is not on the scene, there's exactly the same person 
after you left. Somebody just figured that out, okay? Somebody in your friend or family group or your job situation may have found out the person that you were talking about the entire time is the exact same person that you were saying the entire time. It doesn't all of a sudden make them a good person now that you're not there. Tell them, Collective, I was telling you the truth. I was telling you this person was a six of pentacles in reverse. I was telling you they were selfish, very self-serving. Tried to tell you this person was moving in moon energy. This is a confirmation, y'all. But I'm telling you, I don't get that this person's getting away from anything. This is somebody who double-crossed this, uh, this feminine and or feminines, okay? This person was moving in moon energy. They were being deceptive. So these people are a person is trying, they're figuring this out now, okay? This moon energy is also the fact that they have insecurities that they hide. This person is insecure about them, somebody finding out their secret. That I heard get back. So one of them, or whoever this one particular person is, however it resonates, somebody is insecure about somebody finding out their secret. This person hides a lot, okay? So I, I, do, I am picking up a Leo energy. I'm also picking up a Scorpio and or a Capricorn involved in the situation. Um, take the energy as it resonates. But they, this person knows that they're deceptive. This King of Swords in reverse, they're not dumb. They know that they're deceptive. I'm getting like they're insecure about somebody finding out their secret, what they hide. I don't think this person and her people have found out all the secrets yet. Like it's coming out like it's still the moon energy. You see what I'm saying, Collective? So there's an insecurity about finding out all the skeletons in the closet. This King of Swords who's being selfish, mm -mm, their, king, their, their skeletons are going to get found out, Collective, because this moon energy is talking about their insecurities, the fact that they move into Perceptions, they're moving out of their emotions. They're just not a fair person. And it has to do with what I'm getting in the downloads, this 10 of wands. They are pressured, overwhelmed, and burdened with responsibilities. This is why I'm getting this download. There's still more skeletons in their closet. So what's coming out now, more is going to come out collective. You're getting this good news already because you already knew this. Somebody's just now finding it out, but I'm getting, it's like they're only scratching the tip of the surface, right? So it's just like, oh, they thought this person was going to be okay. They teamed up with this person and they got double crossed with this Ten of Swords. They didn't think that they can be double crossed, but this person's still hiding something. They're hiding responsibilities. They're hiding the fact that they're overwhelmed. I'm getting a download. There's a child involved for somebody. Somebody didn't want to take care of a responsibility with the child. And then they're, somebody's hiding money about not paying child support. So... You got a greedy person over here and there's somebody else's greedy talking about some money. They don't want to pay money for child support. Y'all, who is this? Uh-uh, this is funky. I don't like this. Somebody does not take care of their responsibilities. That's why they try to shove it off on somebody else, right? Try to act like they don't have anything. They hide their responsibilities. Y'all, this is coming out in the downloads. I'm telling you, this person is a high priestess in reverse. Whoever this masculine is, is an untrustworthy person. Their secrets are revealed. And this is why I'm getting what I'm getting in the downloads. This person is revealed to you. You know this person's secrets. You know the skeletons in their closet, but they're hiding it from whoever this person and or people are who are just finding out, okay? This person is someone who does not, they don't reveal everything. And it's kind of like, well, if you find out, you find out. This person lies for like a living. Like I'm telling you all, this is what I'm telling you. This is an untrustworthy person that I'm getting. They don't follow their intuition about how to move with people. And I'm getting, this is a king of wands in reverse, right? I'm getting like, this is a separate masculine. So if if this is, um, like I'm picking up like a separate masculine. For some of you, it may be the same masculine if you're only dealing with one masculine situation. I'm getting like a group of people. So however the group resonates, there is somebody who's a king of wands in reverse in, in this energy, right? It could be the same person. It could be a different person. But somebody who's very inflexible. I heard bullish. I heard bullish. So possibly a Taurus involved in this situation. I heard bullish, okay? So possibly a Taurus, whoever this particular person is, they're a king of wands in the inverse. Very over, um, overbearing, egotistical, and arrogant. Um, this person, okay, I'm getting a specific download and I'm gonna say it like it's coming out. Like they talk like they don't know what they're talking about. That's how it's coming through. Like they talk a big game, but what they talk about doesn't make sense. Does it, collective, this is how it's coming across in the, the downloads that I just heard, okay? You're gonna know what I'm talking about if it resonates. This could be, like I said, the same person or it could be a different person, but we are dealing with the group here. These people are all dealing with the world in reverse. They're all dealing with setbacks and delays, all because they wanted some unmerited success over you. They wanted to make you look bad. They wanted to put you down. They wanted to get you out. They wanted to get you away from your ex. They wanted to get you out of your friend or family group. They wanted to ostracize you, treat you unfair. Uh-huh. Guess who's being untreated, treated unfair now? 
everybody who's getting double crossed. This mask is not getting away from everything. They're hiding it, but somebody, they're all dealing with the world in reverse. They're all dealing with delays and setbacks. One of the karmic feminines wants to get back at this masculine. This person's not going to get away from anything. <laughs> they're trying to hide it though. They're all dealing with it because of what they did to you. Because you're coming out as the king of pentacles. You're all up here stable. You came come out as the king of cups and the king of pentacles. Get them, collect them. You are not... It's like the, the fact that you got away from the situation was for your highest good. You were supposed to. And I was telling y'all that from, you know, my reading yesterday, understanding when it's time to cut ties, cut it loose, right? When it's unhealthy for you, it's unhealthy for you. Let it go, right? Staying in these toxic situations will get, uh, you know, these people are going to get their comeuppance because they decided to stay in this negativity. They decided, decided to still be karmic, right? You're not. You're over here, King of Pentacles, all stable and secure in your energy. You're like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Y'all deal with that karma. I've got good, good, good juju going on, okay? <laughs> like your energy is like light. It's vibrant. It's positive. Whatever you're doing right now, it suits you, right? Um, I'm getting somebody also, um, you either have a, a, you're in a new function, something about your work, okay? It's like a new function in your work. You have a new role in your work. You might have gotten a new job. It's something new in your work, a new elevation, a new responsibility in your work. Um, this is coming through with this King of Pentacles energy for you collective. Something about new responsibility, something like that in your work situation, which is also why you're very trustworthy and people come to you for financial advice. Something about your job. If this was like a boss trying to get you fired, you got a better job. You have a more stable job. You have a job that allows you to be in leadership to continue to do what the most high has told you to do. Very, very stable in your energy. While well, these people are getting their karma. Mm -mm. Keep going is your advice. Three of Wands energy. Your ships are coming in literally because now you've got your wishes granted. You are seeing karma play out right now, collective. This is it. All you had to do was separate yourself. You had to get away from these people so they can get the, the karma that they're supposed to be getting. Like I said, Archangel Michael by himself don't play. I got Michael, I got Gabriel, and I got Raphael out here. Um, whatever the situation was, it's not something that you did or you were a part of doing. All you had to do was separate and they got your light work. People don't understand how chosen ones and children of God are protected out here. All you got to do is leave and these people get what, what, to, do, what to do to them. And it's all because of how they treated you. Your advice, three of wands, keep going. Your ships are coming in. This is how you get your abundance back from people who are trying to steal from you. People that are trying to get you fired. People that were trying to take your, your romantic partner. People that were trying to get you ousted from a friend or a family group. These people are all feeling karma right now. This is your wishes granted. This is what you wanted to see collective. And not that you sit here and revel in it, but sometimes it's like it's you want to know that it's not all in vain. It's not. Look at you and look at them, okay? Your King of Cups energy to your King of Pentacles energy and everybody over here having a world in reverse. You're the only one that's not, okay? This is how you get your wishes granted for your personal satisfaction because your abundance is intact collective because everybody who came against you and treated you unfair and tried to get you out, they tried to get you fired, get you kicked out, you know, your family not treating you right, your friends not treating you right, you know, they're, they're not being treated right right now. It's called karma what they put out is what they're getting back collective and our last clarifier is you're moving on collective chariot energy get them move forward with confidence courage you're moving on successfully and i'm getting like travel and this is like i'm getting with this this work in energy something new you're moving up and we talked about the energy yesterday you know you know moving to your your north node you're moving up energetically i'm getting somebody's moving up in their career you're moving forward to your north node sit in it enjoy it you got good juju going on like your energy is beautiful out here collective make the most of it and build on it there are some things that you're going to be learning throughout this week continue to build on it the energy right now is a momentum for you keep going with this chariot energy three of wands chariot energy keep going to your highest potential collective this is so beautiful for you all right let's go ahead and get a visions of duality get some advice for our collective Part 21, the castle that broke at dawn. Somebody's castle is broken, breaking at dawn. It's so, and like it's a it's a whole group, a whole family group, a whole co-worker group. Whoever that tried to come for you, they did not understand how protected that you are. They're gonna find out because you're or you're gonna find out because these people are you're gonna get this message about exactly what's going on with these people, okay? Control is an illusion. One cannot choose what to feel and when to feel, as many things come bundled together like joys and sorrows. The only way to never be hurt is to never open oneself up to feelings because being hurt will just happen. And as it will happen, it will also go away. The human being is a fragile creature. The fortress we erect to protect our heart are luckily built with sand and will crumble with the tide. They can make us invulnerable through the night, but in the sun, it is wiser to accept our fragilities. Yep. 
Advice, do not build walls that you do not need just because you may need them. And um, there is a quote here. It says, the strongest love is the love that can demonstrate its fragility. And I, and I do get this both ways. It's like, these people did not demonstrate their fragility towards you. You are a very loving, compassionate person up here, very supportive, you know, might be trying to help somebody. This person did not want to accept your help. They just want to do whatever they want to do, try to control you, try to dominate you, being overbearing and egotistical. Mm -mm. Their whole world is in reverse right now. Their castle is breaking at dawn. Let's get a Divine Nature Oracle and we'll wrap it up. Card 13, stand for justice. And you absolutely did. And that's exactly why what's happening is happening. Justice is like a pregnant mother. It's full of compassion. But justice, like an impartial judge, is also full of accountability. You cannot seek justice for yourself in the court of your internal life without engaging both qualities. Likewise, you will never find justice in your relationship or outward experiences without the balance between compassion and accountability. You are being asked in this moment to see your situation impartially. Where do you need to be accountable or hold someone else accountable? Where and how do you need to engage compassion? for yourself, for others, and for a situation that needs grace and mending. And again, this is why they, why what's happening is happening to them. And like I said, I'm getting it both ways for you. Your energy is a building a momentum right now. Take this in, uh, this energy and the standing for justice, balancing compassion with accountability into consideration when you're moving forward. You're moving forward to new heights, so you got to keep that balance. We're still in that Libra energy, right? So this is definitely understanding the balance to stand for justice. And because somebody didn't, that's why their castle is breaking it down and you're moving on. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.